So after my last video that I put out where we discussed what is in our outdoor storage, several of you had questions, including things like, don't you carry any tools with you? And what do you keep in the bed of your truck? And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe we'll just go ahead and do that video next. Welcome back everyone. My name's Patrick. And if you're new here, I've been RVing for about 19 years. We've owned everything from a 13 foot teardrop all the way up to a 35 foot fifth wheel and well, Currently, we have this 2023 Alliance Avenue 22ML, it's 27 foot fifth wheel. And today what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open the bed of my Silverado 2500 HD. This is what we use to tow that fifth wheel. It works great, it is a gas engine. I know that question comes up quite often. Uh, and if you're wondering what kind of mileage do we get, we have been getting anywhere from about eight to nine and a half miles per gallon. And you might say, why the range? There are so many factors that go into miles per gallon when towing. One is speed. A second one is terrain. If you're on a flat surface, you're going to get better mileage than if you're on ups and downs and mountains and things like that. Um, and we have actually found weather. When it is cold out and we're hauling, we get a lot worse mileage than when we're in warm weather hauling. So anyway, let's go ahead and we are going to take a look here on the bed of the truck. And I need to actually clean this up because we are getting ready to head out on a trip. So. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and open up the Tonu. Now, if you're wondering what kind of Tonu I have, I have a Truxedo. Um, this is one of the roll-ups, but before I roll it up, right there, if you're wondering about that brand, this one, my old one on my Tundra rolled all the way back, and that was it. That was the only way to get back here. I paid a little extra for this version because there are handles on both sides. You just push and you can open up the back third to get to things back here without rolling it all the way back. So for what we're doing today, we just need to go ahead and we need to roll this thing all the way back. And that is going to be the first thing I'm going to do. All right, now you can kind of get a better view of everything that's currently in here. Now, the one thing that's not in here that a lot of times is and will be for this upcoming trip is our Weber Q. Um, I had actually set it out and uh, we're gonna put that back in. Now you'll notice currently when we take our e-bikes on a trip, we put them back here. We have the electric uh, lights, these uh, fold up. Now, is this my preferred method? Not really. Um, we do have the option of putting a bike rack on the back of the Alliance. I just haven't found a bike rack yet because new ones are super expensive. So I'm waiting until I find a good deal on a good used bike rack. And then eventually we'll probably haul them back there. For this trip, we're not taking the bikes, So those are gonna come out. Also for this trip, we're not taking the propane fire pit. So that's gonna come out and we'll put the Weber Q back in. Usually I always carry bottled water, mainly because even though we have good water filtration for our Alliance, you probably saw that in the last video, our dogs are very sensitive, their stomachs. And so we find for them, it's best if we carry bottled water. So we carry bottled water just for them. And let's go ahead, pull a couple things out, and then we'll get into what are in these two big crates. All right, there we go. Now we got the bikes out of here. We got the fire pit out of here. And like I said, those things aren't going on this trip we're taking. Um, so we don't need them in here. But what is in the two black crates? Because these always go with us. We'll just go ahead and open them up. And just like we did with the outdoor storage, we're just gonna go through these and we'll see if we can't clean this up a little bit. So. I always carry my Dewalt um, drill. This is 20 volt drill. And I also carry the charger with the backup battery. You just never know when you're gonna need that. I do carry a torque wrench. Now this one is from Harbor Freight. So um, I know typically when I mention Harbor Freight, I get at least one or two comments telling me it's Chinese junk, but no more than I use this for the price. It works great just so I can, if I need to torque uh, lugs on 
wheels or anything like that, uh, it works great. So, and please keep the negative comments coming because they actually help us with the algorithm. So, and unlike other channels who delete their negative comments, we don't delete our negative comments. We believe in free speech. You don't have to agree with what I say. The only thing we will do is we will delete it if there is foul language or if somebody gets aggressive or harassing towards me or others, those comments do to get deleted. But if you want to tell me Harbor Freight is Chinese junk, go for it. I'm cool with that. All right, I carry a can of WD-40 because, well, WD-40. Why wouldn't you? Um, I have this set of Ryobi drill bits, just cheap set I picked up. Um, I actually needed these one time on a trip for something. I don't remember what I was doing. So I go ahead and carry those. These are some pouches that go to a toolbox that's down here. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in here because quite frankly, I don't know. I haven't organized. Oh, so here we have some little fine head screwdrivers. There's a whole assortment in there. And I also have some bigger drill bits just in case. You never know. Um, this one is empty. And this one has just an assortment. Eh, when I say assortment, I mean like three. That means the rest of them are someplace else. So I think at one time I had this really organized. But okay. So there's those. Let's go ahead and um, this is just a little jack, okay? A little six ton hydraulic jack. Um, I used to carry this for the travel trailer. I'm not sure I really need to carry this anymore because I believe the truck has its own jack under the back seat there. And with the fifth wheel, if I need to change a tire, I can just use the uh, auto levelers to raise it up and get the tires off the ground. So we may end up taking that out. Um, Another level. Remember, there was one in the outdoor storage of the trailer. A hammer, just a basic hammer. I find hammers can solve a lot of problems. So, and then let's go ahead and get this big item out. Um, and again, for those of you that hate Harbor Freight, close your eyes. But all this is, is you can see the hose is right there. All right. And then inside here is a little air compressor. Uh, 12 volt, okay, just clips onto a battery. It has the, I'll get it out here, alligator clips. And you can see, now I know a lot of people will say, oh, you should have bought a, a Vier. Um, this is just Pittsburgh, um, 12 volt, 150 PSI high volume. And you know what? It works perfect for me. For what I paid for this compared to the Vier or other name brand ones, because I don't use it that often, um, it does fine. And you might say, can it get to the pressure you need for your truck tires and your fifth wheel tires? And the answer is yes. So, and it came with this little carrying case. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not the best carrying case in the world, but it keeps everything kind of neat and tidy in here. I'm going to set that off to the side. And then finally, in fact, what I'm going to do now that the crate is empty, just for video purposes. This is my tool bag. It's actually the bag that came with my drill, but it works great for tools. So what tools do I carry? I try to carry an assortment of tools because I just never know what I'm gonna need. So there is a pair of vice grips. There is a set of hex key wrenches, um, MIT. I guarantee you that's a cheap brand from some tent sale I was at. Um, a tape measure, electrical pliers, and uh, those do come in handy. Um, I have this big pair of pliers. By the way, these make great stocking stuffers. My mom and dad got me those a few years ago um, for Christmas in my stocking. So, and yes, sometimes we do stockings even for grown adults. Needle nose pliers, wire cutters, more needle nose pliers. So you can see I could probably clean out a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of basic scissors, another set of needle nose pliers. Okay, those are going. We do not need three pairs. Um, here is some Teflon tape, a screwdriver. Now I like these screwdrivers. I actually keep one in the RV at all times because you just flip it over 
and you have both Phillips and Flathead, and then you can flip each of those over for different sizes. And these things are cheap. I think I picked this one up at Menard. So, all right, what else do we have in here? Box cutter. Another pair of pliers. Ah, one of those little screws so, drivers. So I'm going to set that out because I am going to work on cleaning this up. A, uh, a Sharpie. Okay, Sharpies come in handy if you need to mark something. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? I, I honestly have no idea what this is for. It's a wrench that came with something, but no idea. All right. Aha. Crescent wrench. Crescent wrench number two. You might say, why are you carrying two of them? Um, that's actually a good question. I thought I was going to say they were different sizes, but it looks like they are both eight inch crescent wrenches. So it looks like we could probably go ahead and take one of those out. All right. And then it looks like I am down to nothing but an assortment of wrenches in here. And these were probably in some kind of plastic case at some point, but over the years, those cases, um, you know, break and that type of thing. So I just have those in there. So that that's the tools in this box uh, that I carry. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back. I won't make you watch this. I'm going to get this all put away, and then we're going to take a look at the other one. Now, you might be wondering about these crates and how they do back here. Um, I chose these crates specifically because they set low enough back here. That they can sit under the tongue of the fifth wheel when we're hauling. They don't get in the way. The reason I like that is it helps protect them from the weather. And it also kind of keeps them out of sight when we stop for fuel and things like that. So that's why I chose these. And what I do, and you might notice on one side, I have zip ties. That way... And then I will put a zip tie on this side when we go to actually haul. And I do that so that way there's no way the wind can rip these off during travel. So, all right, let's look in crate number two. And I'll show you exactly what is in this one. So you can see, again, I like crates inside a crate. So let's start with crate number one or mini crate number one. Fuses. Never have too many fuses. Um, and I carry a lot of extra stuff that, quite frankly, I really probably don't need to. But I do carry some heat shrink just in case we have a wiring issue. We've had problems with the slide out. You may have heard about that in a prior video. This is one of those switches I replaced. This was a good one that was left over, so I saved it. Probably don't need to be carrying it, but that way if a switch would go out, I'd have a way to get us back up and running. Um, these are heavy-duty staples. I carry a staple gun because, again, it's a way to attach things in a pinch. Um, these are screws that Alliance sent me for the underbelly. They're a self-tapping screw. They sent me a bunch of extras um, for a repair we were doing, so I carry those just in case. I carry this small hand saw. I don't carry a big saw. If I do need to cut something or a piece of wood, that will work. I carry this cheap multimeter from, you guessed it, Harbor Freight, but it does exactly what I need it to do. If I need to check voltage or polarity or something, um, and that's about all I know how to do with it because I am not an electrician. Um, some more heat shrink, some assortment of uh, wire connectors, again, just in case of an emergency. Um, all right, this I think I can, pro no, I'm going to keep it in. This is a Kurt seven pin tester. We can actually just stick this into our seven pin where we hook up and it will tell us if everything is working properly. So I can just carry that. I was thinking I didn't need it with the fifth wheel, but I still need it. Um, remember we took a bunch of these out. I'm going to take it out, um, from Christmas. I don't know how it ended up in here. I just have a few little like self-tapping screws that I had bought for some project and didn't use them, but we carry them just as a backup. Um, hey, looky there, more Teflon tape. Probably don't need a second one in here. One's probably plenty. There's a single wood screw. Never know. Um, zip ties. You can never have too many zip ties, in my opinion. Again, what need, what you need may not be what I need and vice versa. And hey, that's okay. So, I'm never going to tell you what you need. Um, we definitely, though, don't need these, I don't think. 
um, I was probably working on a project and then it's stuck in mean, a bunch of white wood screws. I don't think we would need those on the road. There is the staple gun I bought. Right? And like I said, I do like that. Oh, there's more of those. I don't know what I bought those for, but I'm sure it was the Lance. And then look, there's some L brackets. That's from when I fixed the broken shelf that came on our RV. And so we're going to take that out. I don't think we'll need that. And then just some odds and ends. Just dump out the uh, grass or whatever. All right. So that's what's in this particular one. All right. This is a roll of underbelly tape that Myron from Landstar RV gave me because I had an issue with our underbelly already. And so he just left it here so I could fix it. I need to give it back to him. Um, if you do need RV repairs or you, know, you want to do modifications to your RV and you're going to be in Northeast Indiana, I'll go ahead and link Myron's contact for Landstar RV here on the screen. Give him a call. He does great work and his prices are very affordable. Um, this is just a set. I've had these forever. Um, in fact, some are missing and broken, but it's just different drill bits, um, screwdriver bits and, and things like that. Because as you know, in an RV, sometimes they use some weird stuff. All right. Another crate inside of a crate. And in this crate, we have, you know, a heat gun because, well, why not? Um, this, see, sometimes I look at stuff and I'm like, what was this for? I think this was for our old Halo view. It was a backup power cable I carried. I don't think I need that anymore. Um, a Gerber tool. For those of you not familiar, Gerber tools are like multi-tools. Okay. I just carry. Again, I, I, it's probably overkill. We always carry Dundee. That's what we used to call this. It's a big old knife. When we used to go hiking, I'd carry Dundee with me. Um, but sometimes, you know, again, if you need to cut a piece of wood or something or trim something like the, the those walls in our RV are so thin, you can use that. Um, more wood screws. I don't think we need another level, so we can get that out of here. There is a pin that I used to carry, an extra pin for the hitch. I don't think we need that since we're not using the hitch. We're using our fifth wheel hitch. Um, we have some string. I carry some stuff again just because you never know. It's just some nylon cords. Who knows? I might want to, I don't know what I might want to do, but um, bungees are always good. A USB extension cable. I don't think we need that. I don't even know why we had that or why it would be in here. Another like bungee type cord. And there's a Velcro <laughs> tie. Thank you. And finally, oh, I don't know what that was for. This plug is for, let me find it, right here. So I can charge my big old light. I love this thing. Super bright. It also has a light on the end. You can hang it. That way if something would happen and at nighttime, I need to work outside and it's rechargeable. Just plug it in there. So, okay. Um, here we have a big old roll of Gorilla Tape. Think of it as duct tape on steroids. We're keeping that. Um, pins. You know, why not? Just, I carry extra pins, um, you know, because we used to have them for things like weight distribution and they, they get busted. But I probably don't need to carry them, but if I have the room, I like to have them with me. Um, some speaker wire. Speaker wire works fine for 12 volt wiring. So if you have an issue, it looks like some of my pins fell out. So I'm going to need to clean that up. I take a lot of heat for using pipe wrenches on bolts. I, you, you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. Don't listen to me. I'm still carrying my pipe wrench because sometimes. Uh, here we go. Rubber mallet. This is my tool set. The case broke, so I bought this little case at Menards, and so I have all kinds of sockets in here and ratchets. I have both uh, regular and metric, so let's keep those. We have ratchet straps, just a cheap set, and this is my bigger set of sockets. And I do need these because 
I believe it, it's this one right here. This will take the plug out of our water heater so I can drain it. And what I do, because I can never remember what size, notice this one's flipped upside down. And that way I know that's exactly the one I need if I need to drain our water heater, which I do periodically do from time to time, um, just to keep the water fresh in there. Just go right there like that. All right, and then I mentioned the water already. We usually carry a case of water for the pups. Um, that is our walk-off mat for the uh, trailer. So when we get to our campsite, we'll put this down. A lot of times though, if we leave, it's wet. I don't want to put it in the trailer. So what I do is I'll just set it on my toolbox and that will take care of that. It won't go anywhere. The other thing I like to carry is if you watch my video on the uh, outdoor storage, you saw me using one of these for our water system stuff. Look at this. I love these crates. They just fold out. And that would give us another crate if we buy something or, you know, who knows what. Um, and I use this running around town when we get groceries. Um, so I do like that. But we do take it. I usually just keep it right here under the fifth wheel hitch. The last thing up here is one of these. Um, I've owned one of these for years because you just never know what size you might need if you need to change a tire. And I like it because it really gives you a chance to, to get a good grip because a lot of times those lugs are super tight. So I usually just run those right under here. Same way with this one. And I try to keep the center pretty clear so that we can back the fifth wheel up the hitch up and unhitch. Now, you might have been wondering about the bikes and are they safe in the back when we're hauling because we can't use the new. I do have this big old bike cable and I use padlocks to each side. You know, if somebody really wants to steal them, they will end up stealing them. All I'm really doing at this point is making it a little harder on them. So, but that's it. That's pretty much what I carry. I was thinking if there's anything in the glove box, the only thing you would find in my glove box beyond your usual owner's manual, insurance cards, registration, paperwork, and, you know, napkins, tissues, spoons left over from Wendy's when we got a Frosty, um, is a tire pressure gauge where I can just get out and test pressure on our tires if we need it. So that's it. That's the back of my truck. That's how we haul, and those are the things that I carry tool-wise. So I hope you found this interesting, and uh, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know that too, because again, every comment down below helps us out with the algorithm, and we appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming along. If you've been following us since day one, way back in June of 2017, we're coming up on seven years here on YouTube, and I just want to thank each and every one of you who come along for the journey. I never take your view for granted because quite frankly, you have lots of choices out there and there's a lot better YouTubers than me. But thank you for all of you who've been kind to me over the years. And until next time, we'll see you on down the road. Bye. Travels with Lady. We'll see you on down the road.